Right now at 11, breaking news. State's attorney Kim Fox just announcing felony charges against a Chicago police sergeant and a police officer. Fox saying both fired shots at an unarmed man back in July. Good morning, I'm Jim Williams. We thank you for joining us today at 11 and on our streaming network, CBSChicago.com. The announcement by Kim Fox is our top story. Both the sergeant and the police officer will be in bond court at the top of the hour to face those charges. Let's get right to CBS 2's Assal Rasai live outside of the state's attorney's office. Assal. Yeah, Jim, good morning. That news conference just wrapped up at state's attorney Kim Fox's office right now, where she announced that both of those officers, one a sergeant, will be charged with three felonies. And I'll read them off here. Aggravated battery with a firearm, aggravated discharge of a firearm, and official misconduct. These charges all punishable by up to 30 years in prison. Take a listen to what attorney Fox had to say. It is our position, based on the facts, the evidence, and the law, that the officers involved in this incident did not have provocation or justification to shoot the unarmed victim during this incident. Twenty second shooting in Pilsen when an innocent bystander was among two people wounded. The shooting described by police and witnesses as an all out gun battle after two officers allegedly spotted a group of masked men loitering near 18th and Morgan there. Attorney Kim Fox today saying video evidence from that night shows officers directly contradicted what they report happened that night. There was no body camera worn that night, but she said there is video evidence that shows what she mentioned is no justification to shoot their weapons or to use deadly force. We cannot ignore or stand by acts of unprovoked violence, even at the hands of those who are sworn to serve and protect our communities. Now, we do know from today's news conference just announced that those two officers did turn themselves in last night. They are set to appear in bond court at 26 in California at noon today. That victim is 23 years old that we heard uh, attorney Fox mention, and we're told that he is cooperating with police in this investigation. And we do know that he has also filed an official complaint regarding this incident. There is no word yet on what will happen with the three defendants that were initially charged in this case. The proffer released after bond court today will give us more details of exactly what happened in those early morning hours and exactly how else this investigation will move forward. I'm reporting live outside the state's attorney's office. Asal Rezai, CBS 2 News.